Riyak Machar's return is vital to the formation of a unity government, the central component of the AU brokered peace deal for South Sudan. Officials in Juba are saying he will be here in the next 10 days. Machar's commanders have come in. His soldiers and their weapons are supposed to follow, but until now, no one has been prepared to transport them. We are very grateful to the government of uh, Ethiopia who accepted finally to transport those weapons. And those who are in the RPG will be for just for the uh, protection of the vice president. That's what delay the, the transportation of the people. Everything is settled. We are hoping that by the grace of God, in two weeks we will finish the transportation and the vice president will be welcome in Juba. South Sudan's rival parties say implementation of the peace deal is moving in the right direction. We today we have received uh, 40. Up to Friday we shall receive uh, uh, 560. Give another another uh, two to three days uh, to transport the remaining of the forces. We are expecting uh, my chairman to be in Juba in seven days plus. This is the actual implementation of Chapter Two of the transitional security arrangements and the permanent ceasefire. They are most welcome in their capital and we are happy to receive them among us and this marks the beginning of the real implementation of the agreement. Machar's political dispute with President Salva Kiir helped spark the conflict. Fighting broke out in late 2013, killing tens of thousands and displacing more than two million people. The long wait for the formation of a unity government continues as its formation depends on the return of the opposition leader, Riyak Machar, who is yet to come to Juba. Patrick Oyet, CCTV, Juba, South Sudan.